Yes. I joked and said I might as well make a coronavirus fucking playlist. And I ended up fucking doing it just now. I figured, hell, everybody else is talking about it. A lot of my fucking subscribe channels talk about it. YouTube's talking about it. The media's talking about it. The neighbors are fucking talking about it. So I said, why the fuck not? I already made like 30,000 videos talking about it myself. So why the fuck not make a coronavirus playlist? Why the fuck not? Because I got the feeling this ain't going to be the last one. Holy fucking shit, man. People are fucking panicking all over the fucking place. They buying up toilet paper, fucking bottled water, hand sanitizer, canned goods. Then you gotta be, then they talk about stay quarantined in your house for 14 fucking days. Nobody in their right mind is going to stay in the house for 14 days straight. I'm sorry. I'm, if you ain't heard it from me, you hearing it now. Ain't nobody going to stay in the house for 14 fucking days. Hell, I can't stay in the house for more than four days. I got to get my ass out there. I, I don't have to go no fucking where. I could just go out to fucking jog or go to the fucking park, walk, around, walk along the fucking lake. Shit, I do live by the lake, so I got more reason to get my ass out there. Shit, a library, the goddamn fucking library, uh, you, you, they made it so you don't have to go to the library to check out the books anymore. They fucked my, my, uh, reason of going out for the library and shit. Why don't you just renew it at home? No, because I want to have an excuse to get the fuck outside. Look at this. My fat ass. I gotta have an excuse to get out there. That's another reason I want to get out there. I'm going to spend 14 days up in here. Yeah, I can do exercise in the house. True. But jogging is my shit. I got to get back into it. You think I'm going to stay 14 days? That's two fucking weeks. That's insane. I don't give a fuck how much food I got up in here. I don't give a fuck how much toilet paper I got up in here. Even though I don't use fucking toilet paper. I ain't used toilet paper in fucking a dozen years. 12 years. I have an ass rag. Thanks to my mom. For complaining. Oh, y'all using up all the toilet paper. So I said, fuck you. And I started using the ass rag. And I ain't stopped using it since. But even then when I was using toilet paper some 12 years ago, okay. Ass rags are better, by the way. They're more, they clean the ass out better. Anyways. I don't remember using that much fucking toilet paper. I use about I, I get I, I get I get a little bit of rabbit, wipe the ass. Then you get more, wipe the ass. I, I get about three three segments of toilet paper. About three three to four 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 at the most three at the least. That ain't a lot of toilet paper. But if you have a house full of fucking children. I guess I can understand why you're buying like 30 fucking rolls of toilet paper and shit, you know? Fuck. Oh, I'm buying it all because I don't want to get back. I don't want to come back out the house and catch the virus. That's why I'm buying all the toilet paper. Yeah, you're going to stay at the house for two fucking weeks, right? Right? Unless you're fucking bedridden. Unless you're fucking bedridden. You... You gonna want to get the fuck outside? You're like shit, man. Look at this. Like like today, it's sunny out there. It's fucking beautiful. It's fucking beautiful out there. You can, the fucking phone don't do it no justice. It's sunny outside. Put it that way. You gotta take my word for it. It's sunny outside. It's for the birds are fucking chirping and shit. It's like are you gonna be in the house like this, looking out the window. Mom! Mom! Can I go outside? Come on, Mom! And in my case, I'm like, or I would be like, oh, so it's nice out there. 
Instead, I'm cooped up in this fucking box. <sighs> I want to go outside. <laughs> and to think, I grew up not wanting to go outside. My parents used to have to make my ass to go outside. Cause it's video. I, I blame it on Nintendo. I blame it on Nintendo. I just do. I always want to stay home, stay home, play Mario Brothers and fucking Contra and shit. So they were like, "Oh, boy, all you do is play that fucking game. Get your ass outside." Do I have to? You know. Now stay in the house for two weeks. I'm like, shit. I don't want to stay up in here. Get me out of here. Real talk. I can't fucking do it, man. Fuck that shit, man. I was picturing like I'm <laughs> they didn't say this, but I was picturing they gonna have like armed guards at every fucking apartment building and shit in the house. And if you come out, where you going? You gotta quarantine yourself. Where the fuck you going? I got no food! I don't give a shit. Get your ass back in the house. You don't supposed to be coming up out here. You step you take two steps out that door, you getting a five hundred dollar fine. Get your ass in that house. I got a gun. That type of shit. Shit, when I went out yesterday, I was expecting motherfuckers to be like, hey, sir, what you doing out here? Oh, I'm going to the store. What's up? In the house. Have you heard? Do you watch the news, son? Quarantine for two weeks. Get your ass back in there. Shit, I was glad I was able to get out this motherfucker yesterday. I got some peanut butter and shit. You know, because somebody was somebody in Walgreens was like, yeah, we got to get that peanut butter. And a black dude was like, yeah, that's old school. You were definitely ghetto. <laughs> Come on, blacks can't be racist. That's fucking ridiculous, man. Blacks are fucking racist, man. They always take pride in everything they do. You don't see a black dude doing that. See, if, if that was a nigga, he would have ran from that monster. But no, nah, the white people got to go to it. That ain't racism. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. But yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a fucked up. It's crazy out here, though. You know, shit. Cause I was expecting when I went to uh when I went to my department store, a Walgreens is called. It's a pharmacy store, basically. You know, um, I thought the shelves are gonna be fucking empty and shit. One of my neighbors was like, "Man, I'm going to Walgreens on sixty on eighty third and Yates. I ain't finna go to that Walgreens. They got they got nothing in there. I took my chances and went to the closest Walgreens." Because Yates is on the other side of the fucking moon. Shit, I ain't going all the way down there. It wasn't that empty. It wasn't empty as I thought it was going to be and shit. You know what I'm saying? But you could. And he was like, did you find hand? Did you look for, did you see, do you see any hand sanitizer? I said, no, I wasn't looking for it. <laughs> so I, I, I'm assuming there was no hand sanitizer in that motherfucker either and shit, you know. Because one guy was like, man, you can't get no fucking milk in my area. Shit. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to eat some fucking cereal, man. I don't want to use no water. I can't get no milk, man. Leche. <laughs> oh, my God, man. I said it before, I'm going to say it again. Don't panic. Because if you do panic, you're going to lose your fucking mind. You're going to end up fucking robbing convenience stores and shit. In a fucking mask. Give me your fucking money right now. I need to eat. <laughs> That's what panic will do to your ass. <sighs> oh my God, man. I mean, it's okay to worry. Wor and nothing wrong with worrying. Don't think like, oh, we shouldn't worry either. Yeah, you should worry. Because when you catch that, she could pass it on to your grandmother. And she's dead in two days. You wonder, like, what the fuck happened to her? I ain't displaying no symptoms. I mean, oh, shit. I must have been carrying it. Sorry, Grandma. That's a fucked up body. You can have, you can have, you can go through a whole fucking week without having fucking symptoms and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. Well, if you ask me, I don't believe there's no there's there's a such thing as no symptoms and shit. It's like when they say like, oh, before he had his heart attack. That fatal heart attack of his, he was in he was in good shape. He was healthy. He felt good. He was happy and shit. 
before that heart, before that fatal attack, heart, fatal heart attack gets your ass, you're going to have some fucking symptoms. You're just going to brush it off as nothing. That's what you're going to do. Oh, I got a chest pain. Oh. Must have ate something. Must, must have been that chicken last night. All that gas. Then you have a fucking heart attack. But I had no symptoms. <clears throat> you know. Fuck that. I don't believe in no symptom shit, man. You, you got them. It's simple for everything. Your body always fucking warns you when you're getting something. Fuck that. Oh, you can have no symptoms. Yeah, you got them, motherfucker. You just think it's a fucking common cold. <coughs> oh, it's just a cough. Don't worry about it. it ain't that fucking virus. Just a cough, baby. Don't worry about it. <coughs> got a little mucus flare up, too. I'm I. Right. I had this before. A week later, you're positive for coronavirus. Bullshit, no symptoms. That's fucking bullshit. You can have, you can pass, you can be a carer without having no symptoms. Yeah, sure you can. Sure you fucking can. Like, what the fuck do you know why chromosome? You ain't a fucking doctor and shit. You don't need to be a doctor to have fucking logic. Fucking, this is our bodies we talking about. Our bodies always warns us of something to, something to come. If you got a sharp pain in your legs, something is going wrong in your fucking body. It could be a fucking blood clot. I ain't trying to scare you, but it could be what it is. So everything, if my body is off just 2% off from 100%, I'm like, holy shit, hope I don't get it. What the fuck's going on? I'm worried like a motherfucker. I got to calm myself down. Calm down. Calm down. Shit. This one guy got tested. Sadly, he was positive with the virus, though. His name is, uh, you can show him some love if you, if you, if you subscribe to his channel, uh, his name is Low Key Savage. He does crazy little, little he does meme videos and shit. Funny guy, man. Low Key Savage. He was he was tested positive for the corona, but he said ain't gonna stop me from making no videos. I'll be the same way. <gasps> I get <can't pull. coughs> can't barely breathe and shit, but ah. I'ma still make some fucking videos. Rock chromosome ain't finna stop. <coughs> <coughs> Anyways, <laughs> anyways, he says uh, they took like a fucking Q-tip or some some type of syringe looking thing. The Q-tip shit. I think he said a Q-tip. He said they stuck it up his fucking nose and their goal is to have the tip reach up to the, to the fucking hood of your mouth. Like right here. It's like a hood or something. They just twirl it around and shit. He said it's not as he said it's not as painful as it sounds. It's not really painful. It just feels weird. You can't help but uh move. You know, it's hard to keep still. Now, it ain't got the nerve to tell him. If you keep if if you move, it's gonna take much longer. You know what I would have said? Take that shit out my nose. I'm out of here. I'll take my chances. Fuck it. Fuck. That is crazy though, man. Real talk though. I was joking about that. Fuck y'all. <laughs> it's like you don't care if you fuck people. Yes, I do, man. <laughs> I do care about fact. I do I, I do have a fucking heart. Shit. I don't want to catch this shit, man. I don't want my loved ones to catch this shit, but, <laughs> but it's creeping around. Oh! There's another victim there. <laughs> you know. <laughs> But yeah, it's just, I was like, I thought they just give you a fucking blood test. The fuck? Why they gotta stick something up your nose for? Is there another procedure when they stick it up your ass? Holy shit. I said, my ass is a virgin. What the fuck, man? That ain't right. <laughs> shit. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's like sticking something. What the fuck? And he was like, if they're offering free screenings in your area, I suggest you go to it. I say I think about it. I don't like this sticking up shit in my nose, man. I always, it's bad enough that I dig in my nose sometimes. What the fuck, man? I got booger. I got, I got like 30-year-old boogers in my nose and shit. They'll come out with a booger like, hey, I ain't been out here since 30 years. Ooh, now I'm all brown and googly. 
shit, man. I got probably got I, ain't no telling what the fuck is up my nose. I probably got fucking roaches up that motherfucker. Shit, who knows, man? That's why I, my breathing hasn't been and my nose ha, it, for years. It's been like fucking stuffy, all up here and shit. You know what I'm saying? For years, but I just I just let it go. You know what I'm saying? I, I could breathe fine, like you know, but it's it's congested like a motherfucker. But I said, no telling what's up there. Shit, you have like a whole fucking family of roaches come out the fucking nose. What the fuck, man? So you're sticking that shit up my nose? Shit. Why can't I just take a fucking blood test? It don't work that way. Why not? I thought it was I thought this was like the like like the worst version of the fucking flu. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Shit, give me a fucking flu shot. I'll pay for it. Give me a fucking flu shot. I'm happy, man. Give me the flu get the fuck up out of here, man. Shit. Oh my god. Try getting the flu shot. That's what you should be trying to do, you fucking antivirus shitheads. Oh, we're not. You don't want to get that shit. They give you the fucking flu. They give it to you. It's a dead fucking virus. It's not active. It's fucking dead. It's like I dug up a dead. <laughs> it's like I dug up a woman's body and shit. Say, oh, it's my wife. <laughs> She's my wife now and shit. You know, I don't know if that's a good illustration, but. But yeah, they give you the flu. No, it doesn't, motherfucker. First off, nine times out of ten, your ass caught the flu within two weeks after you got the fucking shot. Because it takes about two to fuck two fucking weeks to uh, start working. Hey, I don't make the rules. That's the way the shot works, you know. Because all the motherfuckers got the flu within two fucking weeks. They said, oh shit, the flu shot gave me the flu. You motherfuckers. <laughs> said, when did you get the shot? Three days ago. Oh. How the fuck do you know? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Um, yeah, coronavirus. How many names? It's, it's, it's a Cor Corvus 19. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. It starts with a C. It says like 19 or 9 or some shit. Then you then they people the, people also call them the C virus and they call it Wu Wuhan. I think it's Wutan or Wuhan virus or some shit. That's three. Then you got the coronavirus. This, that month, this fucking virus got four fucking different names to it. Shit. Holy fuck, man. Let's add a fifth one. Let's call it the 2020 virus. That's my favorite to call it 2020 virus. Because it came out in 2020. I mean, technically, technically it's been out since fucking December, but by the time we fucking heard about it, it was in January of 2020. And since my birthday is that month, Thank you, China, for the nice birthday present. Something else for me to fucking put on my mind. Thank you so much. Yeah, now I'm a fucking racist because I'm making fun of China, right? Oh, where did the virus originate? In China. Oh, my God. Man, people need to stop um, knocking Trump, man, for this shit. Because y'all just want to find everything to throw at this man. This man ain't did... He's just trying to do the best he can do. He said, oh, he, Trump brought the virus here and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what the fuck? Then you got people talking about, oh, it's a bioweapon in Japan that went haywire. Now, even though I feel that's bullshit too, that sound better than Trump bringing it here. You know what I'm saying? Shit. At least that's more believable with the bioweapon shit. From me, say, oh, Trump brought. I, I ain't really asked why they say that, but I figure an answer would be uh, he brought it here because he allowed the infected to come back to the U.S. Also, he knew they were coming back. So, so what? So, so what is this? So, Trump has like a fucking list or computer where he tells where it tells him all the Americans that are flying from China to the U.S. Is he has that written down, or is it on his fucking computer or some shit? What the fuck? <laughs> it's like shit, man. I mean, I believe they shouldn't have came back. You know what I'm saying? They should have stayed where they were the fuck they was at. That's why it's here in the U.S. now. 
And that's why it's everywhere else because people left fucking China and to go abroad or go back home to fucking Europe and and all this Mexico and shit and Japan and Korea. You know, they coming from Japan. They coming from China and shit. They, they brought the virus with them. Take me with you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Well, in case you haven't figured it out yet, I, I mean, when I, when I do these coronavirus videos, I don't want to come on as fucking gloom and shit like. Hello. It's another video from Y Chromosome. It's getting bad out there, fellas. Everybody be safe. Hopefully it passes. <sighs> Worry and get a lot of toilet paper, hand sanitizer and canned goods and stay in the house as long as possible because this coronavirus is no joke it's it's out there to kill us all thank you no 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 fucking no <laughs> shit i don't deliver like that you know shit like, oh you joking about it and shit yeah i'm doing some fucking jokes about it what the fuck i'm a comedian that's what we do we fucking joke who would have thought that's what I fucking done. I've been doing it since I was fucking born. I've been joking about shit, making fun of people. I, I love fucking stand-up comedy and shit. I love when shit made me laugh. I love when I made other people laugh. I'm a, I'm a fucking clown. What do you expect? If you if you don't know who I am, you know now. <laughs> it's like, that's what I do. It's like, if, 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 if you've been watching me for a while before I made these videos, you should know I'm going to throw some fucking wisecracks in there. That's what I do. That's my delivery. I ain't finna be like... Fuck that shit. <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, man, this is why Chromosome signed the fuck out. <sighs> Peace and love. And good health to you all. Be safe out there. Hygiene is a must. You heard me. Take care of yourselves. Wash your fucking hands. I know us. That's overweight people washing our asses a fucking chore. But it's worth it in the long run. Peace.